What is going on YouTube? Thank you for tuning in to another video. It's your boy Scatty back at it with some more street content for y'all. If you guys are new to the channel, please make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and please hit that notification bell so you guys are tuned in whenever I drop a new video. You, you guys can already hear it. I got the 2020 wide body Hellcat in the back. My boy Wes, formerly known as Sexy One LE, upgraded, is now a Mopar guy. Now is Sexy SRT. I'll put that right here. We got over there. That shit was loud as hell. But anyways, y'all, we're gonna get some quick, uh, we're gonna get a ride along in my boy Wes's 2020 uh, Hellcat. I'm super excited. He's not the first 2020 wide body we've had on the channel, but he is the first 2020 wide body catless that we've had on the channel. So I'm really excited about that. I'm gonna get some more exhaust shots right now, but you guys stay tuned. It's gonna be a real good one, all right? Dude, so this is your oil catch can? Yeah. I've never seen one that big. Yeah, That's gotta be mouse. expensive, yeah. It's a Mighty Mouse catch can, and then it's the JLT intake, and then catless mids. Nice, nice. Yeah. In the catalyst mid, you have our stainless works. Yeah. Nice. That's all I have. Stock supercharger, no, no tune, no nothing. nothing. No E85, just regular. Uh, I'm actually on uh, 95 right now. Oh, okay. High octane. I'm on a boost, using boost tank. Okay. Just started using them. Is uh, there a reason you, you were using that in the one LE or no? No, in the one I was using corn in the heat. Because so far, you can use boost stain for stock tune up to 97 octane. Damn. It makes a decent difference. Let's get a look around the side. 2020. So, Tell us why you wanted to switch from uh, Chevy to Dodge. Because uh, I remember I, when we had the, the one LE, you were telling me, like, bro, this, I like this, I this is what I want. Get rid of it. I love that car, but um, I started wanting something that was a better daily. The car started effing up on me. The one LE? Yeah. Do you still know the guy who bought it? Oh, uh, yeah. I'm actually, I, it's sick one LE, sick underscore one LE. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm going to have to give him a follow. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what would you think about you running your old car? I would love that. I would vlog that. I would literally make that a video. I wanted an Audi. I was set on getting an RS3 Audi. Um, but the car was just too small for a guy like me. <laughs> right, right. I feel, I feel you. Smaller you. than my Camaro. And, and then you've, you've had muscle. So you're going to be you're gonna be wanting muscle, um, you know? And Yeah, but I didn't want a Charger until I test drove it. And I was like, you know what, fuck it. I'm just going to get it. You were going to go for a Challenger? I, I wasn't going to get a Dodge at all. I just wanted a four-door. I wanted something that had a lot of room. It's not really any other options that can beat the butt you got any cons with it so far like something that you were like man i really don't like this about the challenge about the chargers um it's freaking huge <laughs> it's hard right. to sometimes it's a So in here, tell me, tell me about in here real quick. It's the suede option. Yeah. Which is the end, whole roof suede. Oh, okay, uh, yeah, yeah. Seats are suede and uh, leather as well. Nice. Same with the steering wheel. Which and everything else, I think, is the same. It's just the carbon fiber and the uh, suede. And the new for 2020, uh, this is leather wrapped now. This of, up here? Yeah. Damn. So instead of the, I believe it was plastic beforehand. The doors, it's all suede too. Suede. Hell, it looks it nice, looks dude. More like like you, the, you can even see it in the camera how nice it looks. Yeah. And then the red seat belts. Seat belts. Yeah, <laughs> definitely got to have the red seat belts. Computer wise, like in here, is there something? Is because you went from Chevy nine, and I know Chevy doesn't yeah. really have the much detail that Dodge puts into the this, computers on this here. This is like night and day. A lot more options. A lot more, um, you know, things you can. Do. Was this when you first got into it? Were you like, oh my like, god, there's the so many buttons? Yeah, yeah. it's How like a can, spaceship. It you know? really is. You can like read the. Um, you know, current time, horsepower, current time, um, you know, like a dyno. Yeah. Which, uh, has all, all the gauges. It times you on all that. Yeah, it, see, it, Chevy and insane. Ford doesn't have that. <laughs> Chevy and Ford can perform, yeah. but when it comes to, you know, computers. It, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty wild. Yeah, look like, at that. It, it just, based on throttle response, it'll, it'll go up. Oh, that's nice. The current setup you have with just the intake and, you know, um, catalyst. Do you know how much horsepower you're pushing right now, as of right I now? I think I'm, I should be. There is a Hellcat um, that same wide body and everything they test tested on the dyno bone stock and made 662 or some something like that um, then they put a uh, JLT intake and catalyst made stock tune and made 706 oh wow to the wheel so that's actually pretty incredible but, but you know dynos vary yeah but definitely the, the gain from that you know that's 40 wheel horsepower gain you can't deny that since being in this cat we're, all, we're already in Mexico by the way guys we got here pretty quick um, how many races have you had? Like legitimately honest races? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> a lot, too many to yeah. count? Intake is helping that uh, that uh, wine be, uh, be a little louder. It does. 
Because um, I know I know that the leg makers and the JLTs are known for that. They're they're known for that, and they make uh, a lot of power for what they are. Um, the B Woody, it makes it. Oh my God, the B Woody <clears throat> performance, Jesus! Christ, I've heard that on a Hellcat before. I haven't heard it on the new ones, but in the older ones, I have. Yeah, it's it's the loudest intake you can get. Um, however, a lot of people don't get it because uh, it doesn't have a heat shield. The, the car doesn't run. Okay. Decent temperature. Fastest car you raced in this thing. Um, for everybody who wants to watch them or check them out, they're on his Instagram. I am going to talk him into making a YouTube. Don't worry about that. I'll talk I him into YouTube. Yeah. I really, really You're going to, we've got to, man. We talked yeah. about it in the 1LE video. I actually ran um, a Ferrari uh, California T. No. And I ended up getting that by like a car. No. Yeah. One exotic one kill. One exotic. One uh, exotic kill, y'all. Jesus uh, I'm just going to keep his identity unknown because he doesn't want to be known. Right, I'm, California. I'm a little, yeah, I'm a little pissed because he doesn't want to run it again. Uh, Were you on the same setup you have right now when you ran it the first time? No. Okay, so you I just had an intake. I didn't have the catalyst mix before. So right now, y'all, we're just getting to a more open road down here in Mexico, so we can get some pools right here with Wes, just so we can get some more, uh, some more of sound of that catalyst downpipe right there. So it's, it's a setup a lot of people actually don't do. Most people with the Mopars, they end up, you know, doing muffler, muffler deletes or like uh, myself, yeah. deletes. True, like myself. And uh, people want to hear what the car sounds like with just the stock exhaust and the catalyst mids installed. Definitely. So, so anybody who wants to hear this, they got to check it out. If you got a Hellcat, you want to put catalyst mids. You're about to hear what it sounds like right now. Yeah, and it's just a, you know, it's a simple bolt-on, no cutting required, nothing like that, no welding. So, it's, that, you can't beat that. Your most recent race was with a uh, 2019 GT350? We first ran, um, and I couldn't get traction, and I ended up pulling him on top end, but every time we did a low run, he got it. But eventually, I got tired, and we ran, and... It was, it was just wasn't even a race. It was a slaughter. You got on him like that? Yeah. Jeez. And he was a full bolt on 350. Yeah, it's yeah, on corn too. So it's oh wow, full, full bolt on 85 350. All right, let's get this pull. No longer in the one LE. Yeah, no longer. Same same spot too. Oh, shit. oh my god. Dude, this shit has some kick in it. It does for being pretty much stock. Yes, <laughs> Jesus. Again, guys, he is just on catalyst mids, stock exhaust, stock tune, and just 95, 95 octane. Yep. And JLT intake and a catch can. Mighty Mouse catch can. the best sound I, I i could hear from anything that's the best sound i could hear from any mopar <laughs> exhaust i love ford exhaust out the manufacturer i will always say they probably are number one in my heart yeah. it sounds the best but i agree the 350 the, sound amazing oh hell yeah dude but the downships on these mopars jesus they sound exotic sometimes oh, <laughs> oh yeah So glad we got that on camera. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> that was definitely a good one. Hell yeah. I looked over and it was like 100 and I'm not even gonna say it on camera, but it was a lot. <laughs> Mexico is just. Mexico is crazy. <laughs> wow, they're so nice to let us do this out here. All right, y'all. That man Wes is heading out right now. He's about to take it. Dude, listen to that exhaust. Oh my god. That is amazing. I love the way it sounds. It's gonna sound great. I'm super excited, but for now, just enjoy the music, y'all. Enjoy the music.
Oh my God, y'all. That right there were some of the best pulls I have seen in a while. 2020 wide body charger Hellcat, Catalyst mids on 95 octane, JLT intake, stock exhaust. What do you think of the pulls that we did in the 1LE on these roads? <laughs> and now what do you think of the pulls that we did in your new 2020 wide body charger Hellcat? Uh, they were definitely close, but I know this car will take a top end, no, no chance. No chance, so, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. And again, guys, the new owner of his former 1LE video, which I'll put right here so you guys can check it out. Make sure you guys find that thumbnail and check out that video. We were with Wes last time in his uh, older car, but the new owner of that uh, blue 1LE is now Sick uh, sick 1LE? Yeah, Sick underscore, I think. Sick underscore 1LE. I will find the direct at and I will put it in the description so you guys can give that uh, new owner a follow as well. Shifts. You know, it, was, it felt better, it felt quicker. It definitely. Yeah, it definitely and I. Feels quicker. Definitely feels quicker, yeah. <laughs> Both very fast cars, though. Very fast cars. Yeah. Gen 5 Vipers? Yeah. So. So that's your that's your next build oh, that you're that you're eventually going for is a, and is I want to do an NA build with the Gen Five Viper. A Gen Five Viper. So you, you guys don't heard see it. Too many NA builds with those cars. So. Oh hell no! You don't even see that, too many Vipers in town. No, and, just and, let alone the, the that model, you know. Especially the Gen Fives. There's like, there's only a few in town right now. Oh heck yeah! Heck I've seen yeah. a white one and I've seen a couple ACRs and that's it. Ah, uh, you've seen the ACR in Fresno? Yeah, there's a, there's a couple. Uh, I've never seen an ACR in person. Yeah, there's a couple, but they they don't drive them. They That's drive what I'm them. trying to go for next, y'all. I'm trying to get you guys a Viper on the channel. We're two for two. We had Wes's uh, 1LE, we had his Hellcat, and we're going to have your Viper next. <laughs> yeah, Once Viper you get the Viper, hopefully. we'll have your Viper next. Hopefully, we'll, we'll have already had one on here, but if not, Wes will be the first. That's I know, you picked the right one. This is... <laughs> This is nice, the whole thing, man. Yeah, even if I get the Viper, it's going to end up being the highest mileage Viper in, in oh, around. So all right. Uh, gonna take, he's going to take delivery pretty soon. Dude, you let me know. <laughs> I will. I want to be the first YouTuber to vlog, to review a Durango Hellcat. Yeah, that would be that'd be something. Hell yeah. First Durango Hellcat uh, It's review. all black, too. Dude, let me know when that when that gets comes into play. Yeah. So we just got back into town. You guys see the Hellcat cooling off right behind me. Again, I want to give a huge shout out to my man, Wes, man, for letting me get into the ride along. Like I said, you guys definitely go check out that first video. I'll put it right here. where We did a review on his former car, the 1LE. Now he went ahead and got himself a 2020 wide body charger Hellcat. Oh man, Richard, my boy just pulled up to come say what's up to Wes and check out his Hellcat. He hasn't been able to see it yet. But I mean, you guys heard on the video, Wes was also thinking about getting a Viper maybe, hopefully in the future. So we go ahead and get that done. Maybe we'll get the Viper on the channel. I'm still trying to get myself connected with a demon and a Viper owner. So I can get that on the channel for you guys too. That's gonna be the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, if you guys are new to the channel, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and smack that notification bell so you guys are tuned in whenever Scatty drops a new video. Thank you for showing all the love. We are above 1,000 subscribers. I'm nothing but blessed and happy for that. Keep watching the videos and share, share, share. I'll see y'all next time. Much love.